pins in, holding it flat, so now I'll put these spacer blocks, which I had earlier, underneath. That's what these holes were in the bottom panel, so that it can only go, it can only rotate one direction. So at the moment I'm not sure whether these will work out or not, so I'm just going to attach them with a couple of screws. And the 
size of that block's not right. Yeah. This does allow that to just sit there. Pins can then go in, and I know that's in the right spot. So, um, should probably add them on the other side to get that to the correct position. Then eventually, I can replace these with the correct size blocks. I've because I'm making this up as I'm going along, I kind of didn't think that one through. finally done I chose probably the worst uh, time possible to have a shot at this it's been at least 40 degrees uh, Celsius in the garage today Australia is very hot in summer uh, and without any insulation in here you just bake uh, so <laughs> this was a big effort to get done um, go for amber shellac on it makes it feel a bit nicer look a bit nicer and makes it a lot easier to clean so uh, I will seal off a few other bits and pieces but it was just too hot to get it done today. Uh, most likely on the bottom, the other side, I'll put the grinder and sharpening jigs uh, so that can be wheeled closer to the lathe and that can use. Um, and I will turn some handles for these pins. Now these pins are just made out of some cold rolled steel which uh, is meant to be 10 millimeters but it varies from about 9 mils up to 9 millimeters up to about 12 in spots. So it's not perfectly round or even the right size. So that's why you saw me having to hammer it in and out because they're just the wrong size even though I drilled oversized holes. <coughs> so it's on a set of casters to swivel to straight so I can move that around the workshop. Uh, this is the previous stand steel frame for the signature which it locks and racks and all of that so this is <laughs> much much heavier uh, and a lot more secure by the looks of it. So I'm pretty pleased with how this turned out even if my genre is a little bit crappy. Uh, but it, it isn't meant to be pretty, it's meant to be functional and if anything loosens up. Um, the type of genre should keep it in one spot, hopefully, and I can always chuck some screws and more glue. That's the whole thing in epoxy or something like that. Thanks for watching.